Okay, YouTube, you can see that I do not have an air conditioner on my new roof, um, but I'm going to put one on there. I'm going to cut the hole there and put you through the whole process. I'm going to make it kind of quick and sweet, so hopefully you can follow along. So stay tuned. Now, the old air conditioner, uh, we took off the roof, and we didn't really care so much about how it came off the roof because we replaced uh, the rubber roof material with uh, new EPDM. However, now we've got to put the air conditioner back on and there's a gasket that goes in between the air conditioner and the roof. And there's also uh, some other material that's underneath there that helps with the leveling of the unit overall. Now in this case, this is a Coleman, it's a Mach 3. It's a, a common one. They've, uh, they've been the same for quite a few years. First you have to take off the control unit uh, inside and then there's four large bolts that go up through and into the unit here and basically it sandwiches it uh, from below and above and pulls it down onto the roof with this gasket. You're going to need a new gasket and this is what you get. This is the part that's for leveling to keep it level all the way across then it's also a gasket sort of. Um, this is also for leveling and then the gasket itself. So what I'm going to do is uh, clean the AC unit and that's why I kind of got it up in the air here. I'm going to take all this off, this old adhesive, or much of it as I can uh, for the square all the way around. I'm not worried about how dirty this is. I can clean this once it is inside the camper. But uh, I'm going to clean off all this old adhesive, which uh, looks like some of it's going to be able to peel away. I'm going to replace that with the new one that comes in the box. Uh, once they're on the unit, I'm and my wife are going to lift this up on top of the camper and uh, start bolting it down gently. You don't want to over tighten it. So let's uh, go ahead and start that direction. Okay, so the new gasket's on there, and I noticed that there was a real thin gasket here, and that's what these pads must replace. Um, instead of having one long, thin one, there's th those three pads. And then of course this gasket here um, is installed and then that one there. So all the gaskets are installed. Um, it's ready to go on the roof except there's no hole on the roof so we're going to go cut that now. Alright so we're inside the camper and we're going to cut the hole. Now normally uh, most of the installations show them do it from the outside but I'm going to try it from the inside here. And we're going to start in this corner right here and we're going to make it X. There we are. going to the other corner not very straight but it's getting the job done and now this corner here to that cut that we just made and now this corner here and I just put in a new razor blade because having it very sharp helps a lot. Now that that's cut we're going to put holes in these corners to stop it from running cuts because right now it's real easy to tear if you pull that apart and we don't want that so I'm going to try to take this hole punch which is kind of a little bit fancier than a normal hole punch so it's got a little tab here that's being a little bit difficult and find the corner and punch it just like that. Now it shouldn't have a running tear. We'll do that to all four corners and then we'll come back. Alright so we have these holes punched you can see here keep it from doing a running. I, you don't have to remove these tabs it's just to keep it from doing what they call a running tear. Now we're gonna pull down this we're gonna staple it in a few spots and then cut off the excess. We'll do that to all four of these flapping wings and uh, then the air conditioner will be ready to go up on top. Okay, with the help of my wife, uh, we got this up here and you can see it's on a packaging blanket. Now what we're going to do is just slide it over the hole uh, that you can't really see there. There you go, there's a little bit of it. We're going to slide that over and uh, my wife from the inside is going to tell me most likely when it's lined up or real close and then I can get inside and I can line it up the rest of the way. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
Okay, so what we did is we slid it over on the blanket, and then when it got really close, my wife just pulled the blanket down through. And then I lifted up the back a little bit, and she pulled the blanket all the way through. So it's definitely better than cardboard. Now as far as getting it lined up, I can do all this from inside at this point. And if you see, you got a gap in the front, like it's uneven. Well that's okay because you're going to compress this gasket down, and you're also going to compress the back gasket down to some extent to where everything should level out at that point. So we'll go ahead and get this finished up as far as leveling, and then we'll go ahead and put this piece back in place, and then run the long bolts and washers up through into the brass screws that are here to pull it all down. But first we're going to do a little house cleaning to get this straightened up and I need to uh, do just a little bit more alignment on this to make sure that these bolt holes are a little bit more square. So stay tuned, we're almost done. Okay, so we push this vent in place over the uh, gasket material that they have. It's some sort of a putty and it kind of seals off at that point. Um, not extremely good, but I mean, it, it, there is a seal all the way around, so no air is getting out. Now we just have to attach this unit up to this one. That'll make the connection to the lower, and then I'll start running those bolts like I set up through there. Okay, so we tightened this down and compressed the gasket evenly all the way around. We then went on the roof also and checked level to make sure that everything looked pretty level. And you can kind of see the gasket there and how it's compressed. That's what I'm trying to show here. And everything's sealed up here. There's a little bit of a gap right here that I might just shove some putty in so it's not blowing cold air uh, into the return area, which is here and, and here. Obviously, I have to plug this in. But this wire here, make sure that it's cleaned off pretty good. Uh, that's your temperature sender and it's basically sensing the temperature of the return air. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Let's take a look here, see how it's oriented. Looks like that there's uh, like three bumps on top here and everything else is straight. There's three bumps on top, everything else is straight, the other three sides. So I'm sure it goes this way. Of course, I don't have any power to this camper whatsoever. And we'll put the plug right there. Looks like that's where it was before. And uh, make sure this was clear. Whenever you're tightening it down, make sure that your uh, electrical cord um, isn't going to get pinched whenever you're collapsing this ductwork into the foam that's on uh, this lower housing. So now I'm going to put up the control cover. And it's just a couple screws, Phillips screws that hold it. Okay, and you can see that the gasket is compressed there and it's compressed pretty darn evenly all the way. And then the back, that gasket is touching. Um, not as much as it, I would have liked it. Um, I'd liked it to bend a little bit more, but I think it's because there's a little bit of a drop in the wood from this seam right here that's a little bit high, but it is touching, so it is supporting it. So I don't have any concerns there. So now what I'm gonna do is put the shroud on it, and the shroud goes on top, um, of course, and it just sets down real nice and easy over the four bolts that are on top, or the studs that are sticking up. And then there's four large, like stainless washers that go on the shroud over those studs. And then four stainless cap bolts that top it off. So I'll go ahead and put those on. So we went ahead and lowered the shroud back on, which is real simple, it's just straightforward. I did put a drop of thread locker on the studs, just in case. And then you just put these large washers on. So there it is, it's all down and tightened up. All we gotta do now is put uh, some shore power to it and uh, turn it on and make sure that it works. Now the gasket kit can be bought on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below. Click the link, it's gonna take you right to it and it's gonna get you the gasket kit you've seen in this video. All right, thanks for watching YouTube, appreciate it, bye.